I wonder if, in fact, the human intellect is sufficient to actually decode the full operations of this universe in which we live. We are an intelligent species because we defined ourselves that way. We don't have the benefit of another species to compare ourselves with against whom we might fail miserably. When we compare ourselves to chimps, we sit up righteously and say, we have poetry and the Hubble telescope and philosophy, and the chimp just stacks boxes to reach a banana. Yet there's only 1% difference in our DNA. But then you'll say, what a difference that 1% makes. And I would say maybe that 1% DNA difference corresponds with an equally small difference in the intelligence between a chimp and humans. And you say, I can't believe that. No, no, no. Well, imagine some other species that visits us that's 1% along on that same scale, smarter than us. Consider, the smartest chimp does what our toddlers can do. And there's no way you will explain to a chimp, well, if dinner ready at 6.30, you pick up some juice on the way home. The simplest human thoughts are inconceivable to a chimp, and their talents are about what our toddlers can do. So let's get back to this 1% smarter alien that we've discovered. Corresponding this analogy, we now say, what would we look like to them? They would roll Stephen Hawking forward after combing the human species, and they'd say, this one is slightly smarter than the rest because he can do astrophysics calculations in his head like little Timmy over here. Their simplest thoughts would transcend our deepest thoughts. And maybe to them, it is obvious what dark matter is and dark energy. Maybe to them, particles popping in and out of existence is a trivial exercise in their understanding of the multi-dimensional space-time continuum. And we are here groping at the sides of a wall, not knowing how tall, wide, or deep it is because we have the limits of the human physiology evolved off the plains of Africa just to try to understand the entire universe. I lose sleep on that question each night.